What is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you my new favorite lure to troll in the freshwater, and that's the Yozuri Pins Minnow. And before I give you my review, let me just show you the specs of these lures. They come in three different sizes. There's the two inch right there. And then we have the two and a half inch right there, make sure it focuses. And then finally, the big one, the three and a half inch version right there. And they come in various different weights, depending on if you get the floating version versus the sinking version. They vary anywhere from one sixteenth ounce all the way up to a quarter ounce. And these are just a couple of my favorites. They could actually come in 22 different colors to choose from. And if you watch my main channel, you'll know that these have quickly become one of my most favorite lures trolling for rainbow trout. But not only do they catch rainbow trout, they also catch a wide variety of other freshwater species. Actually, on my last trip, I not only caught a rainbow trout, I also caught a spotted bass and actually a landlocked king salmon, both on these same lures. And I'm a big kayak fisherman, so I've been trolling these behind my kayak, but they also work great from shore. And actually the two bigger versions, the two and three quarter and the three and a half version, have a weight transfer system. So they cast great and they also have rattles inside there. So when you're trolling around, that thing's rattling, just giving off a little more noise to attract those fish. Here's the action they give off when in the water. So this is the pins minnow at 1.5. This is the pins minnow at 2 miles an hour. And that's the pins minnow at 2.5. Now I've caught fish trolling these anywhere from 1.5 miles per hour all the way up to 2.5. And, and you can probably catch them even faster than that. But I found that the best action they give off, I found like the sweet spot, is somewhere between 1.8 to 2.2 miles per hour. And every lure you've seen on this video has actually been used most of them multiple times out of my kayak. And as you can see, paint is all still there, hardly any chipping from the hooks or from the fish that have been biting these lures. And when it comes to colors, I like to have a good mix in my tackle box. Some more natural colors like this one, or maybe a rainbow trout color to fish for those fish in very clear water that maybe are a little more finicky. And then also some more vibrant colors that stand out a little more like this one um, to fish for fish in more murky water. And in addition to a great paint job, they also have great hardware caught a wide variety of different big fish that pull hard and I haven't had any issues with the hooks or split rings giving way. And personally, I've had my best luck with these two and three quarter inch baits, but I've also caught fish on the bigger one, the three and a half. And if you're doing some micro finesse fishing, maybe for some smaller fish, that two inch bait might be a good choice. And like I said before, there's 22 different colors, so a lot to choose from. But if you just want to add a couple to your tackle box, these are two of my favorites. The green on top with orange on bottom, and then the pink on top, with orange on bottom. So if you're looking to add some lures to your freshwater box, look no further than the Yozuri Pins Minnow. It's been a multi-species killer for me, and I definitely won't be leaving home without these in my tackle box. If you want to see these lures in use, I'll leave a link down in the description for a video on my main channel when I put these lures to the test, catching a variety of different species. And if you want to buy one for yourself, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. Any purchases made through that link will benefit the channel. Appreciate you for checking out this quick review. Many more to come. And we'll see you on the water.